take a moment to imagine what the most expensive mansion would look like. Do you visualize it having a spa? Maybe a movie theater? What about a bowling alley? Indoor and outdoor pools? Cigar lounge? Or even a whole nightclub? There is a new mansion in Bel Air which has all of those facilities and more and is currently the most expensive mansion in America. This record-breaking estate will leave your jaw on the floor and your wallet completely empty. Today, we're going to take a tour of The One. We'll talk amenities, design choices, and the troubles the owner ran into when bringing this impressive home concept to life. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss a video from us. Back in 2012, when Gangnam Style was all the hype, ex-movie producer Niall Niami picked up an eight-acre property in Bel Air for $28 million. Niami is well known by the celebrities for being perhaps the most remarkable developer of ultra-high-end luxury mansions currently existing today. The idea of building not only the largest but also the most expensive home in existence is the brainchild of architect Paul McLean and interior designer Catherine Rotundi. It took the team around eight years to construct an altogether an estimated 600 workers when hired to bring it to life. And what they've created is an astonishing estate that has grabbed the attention of numerous newspapers and designers around the world, alongside me, of course. In 2015, Niami gave an interview to speak about the imposing estate, telling GQ it would be listed for $500 million. In addition, Niami reportedly said, when you have something that's as rare as the Mona Lisa, you can command whatever you want for it. Now that's a pretty huge claim. How rare where is this property truly? Is it a work of art that rivals the Mona Lisa? Well, the estate is certainly rare. The home spans an unbelievable 105,000 square feet. For comparison, the White House is just half its size at 55,000 square feet to be precise. The driveway of the one alone is broader and larger than the size of the average public road, and the length of the property is a quarter mile long. The size itself sets a record, and that's a record that cannot be surpassed because building laws have been put into place in the City of Angels since the one was constructed, ensuring that no estate of its size would ever be built again. And that's why it garnered the nickname The One. Yet the process of building this masterpiece didn't go flawlessly. Several elements that were meant to be included in the mansion were left out due to construction problems, including a jellyfish room, an ice bar, and a room meant to house fresh flowers. In addition to those construction problems, Niami found himself in debt, which may be reason why the impressive mansion is asserted to be listed now for $340 million rather than the originally proposed $500 million. Cheaper, but not certainly cheap. The estate has 42 bathrooms and 21 bedrooms. That means you can house an entire football team and still have a couple of bedrooms and over 25 bathrooms completely unused. And we'll get to the bedrooms and bathrooms later on, but first, I want to get into the fun stuff because after all, what's the point of building the world's largest mansion if you're not going to have a few wild amenities inside of it, right? Well, first, let's talk about the nightclub. When you have enough money to buy the most expensive mansion in the USA, there's no need for you to drive all the way down to Hollywood to hang out with ordinary people when they want to get down. All you have to do is walk downstairs. The nightclub has enough space to accommodate dozens of people and, of course, has access to a patio that looks out over LA. Attached to the nightclub is a room that has walls made entirely of candy. Yep, you heard me right candy. After all, this place is named The One for a reason. Continuing with the facilities, there is a personal tequila bar for liquor lovers. The custom creation includes a smoked mirror backsplash, marble countertops, and more tequila on display than many of us drink in a year. But perhaps you're not the type of person who likes to spend their weekends at a club and have drinks. No worries, because they've come up with just the right solution. Your first option is to head on over to the movie theater. The movie theater has a movie screen that is a standard cinema size and has seating for up to 30 people on luxury leather couches. If you're looking for something a little more interactive, you can wander over to the bowling alley inside the home. There are four lanes illuminated by sleek modern red lights and a floor-to-ceiling television screen where you can put on a movie while you kick back and bowl those strikes. After a long day of hanging out at your own nightclub, bowling alley, and movie theater, well, you can hop on over to the Wellness Center. The Wellness Center has its own spa, which includes a sauna, massage rooms, and treatment rooms that all carry the clean, lustrous, 
aesthetic of the home. In this center, you'll find a full-size gym with techno gym equipment for personalized at-home workouts. After a workout, if you need a little freshening up, you can head on over to the Wellness Center's full-service hair and beauty salon. The hair and beauty salon takes contemporary to a whole new level with glossy red lacquer walls and artistic black chairs that just scream luxury. You'll find the same modern approach at the exceedingly large indoor swimming pool which features impossibly tall ceilings that are fully reflective and concrete floors that have an industrial look. Outside, you'll find five additional infinity pools spread throughout the large estate. My favorite happens to be the curved infinity pool, which hangs out over the edge of the property. And from each pool, you'll find a magnificent view because the property has 360-degree views of the Pacific Ocean, downtown Los Angeles, and majestic San Gabriel Mountains. Besides the pool, you'll find a 400-foot-long jogging track for your morning walks. Also, on the outside grounds, you'll find multiple high-priced art pieces by renowned artists, a one-acre backyard, and several patios to kick back and relax on. Then there's the 30-car garage, which includes two-car display turntables for the owners to showcase their luxurious car collection, in case the property itself doesn't show off their wealth enough. Mind blown yet? No? Well, then wait till you see Rotundi's interior design. The entire home is designed with a simple color palette, soft textures, and lighting which originates from the Tom Ford Boutique and shows how to explain why luxury can be found in nearly every room. The guest room has an ultra-modern Murano chandelier by Bistassi with an estimated cost of $2,700. The whole property combines indoor-outdoor living perfectly. Upon entering the foyer, that is crystal clear. The wall opens up, completely creating an open-area space with unrestricted views and access to the patio overlooking the city. In the center of the foyer, there's an 11-foot-tall rotating white sculpture called Unity, which is quite a spectacle, especially because it's paired with a custom white glass Murano chandelier. This simple yet luxurious design is carried throughout the home in nearly every room. The formal living room is refined and clean, with two separate living areas, a slim fireplace, and yet again access to that beautiful patio. The family room, while still luxurious, offers more of a cozy atmosphere to just lay back and watch TV. It's definite that this home is made for entertaining. Imagine having a party with all those doors wide open allowing people to flow freely between the lavish living spaces and the outdoor areas. Even the 10-person formal dining room allows access to the patio. When you're looking for calmness, you can pay a visit to your own dedicated cigar lounge with a fantastic display that could really keep your attention for hours. Or if you'd prefer, you can check out more art in the full gallery with works that have been custom curated by creative art partners. And while that is the perfect place for a more sophisticated event, you can also host events of that manner in the dedicated Philanthropy Wing, which was created to accommodate guests for charity galas and floating pods that overlook the city. Envision for a moment being so rich that you can afford to have an entire Philanthropy Wing in your home. A Philanthropy Wing that can lodge 200 people. Also remarkable on the intellectual side of things in the library, which is certainly the most impressive library I've ever seen. The back lacquered shelves are backlit, which adds a futuristic touch to the space. There's a skylight on the ceiling and even a balcony that looks out over the library. There is a lot to do in this home, but at some point you'll have to sleep. Fortunately for you, one of the 21 bedrooms is the master bedroom, which can be found in the 5,500 square foot master suite. The master suite has its own lounge bar and a massive patio, where you can even take a dip in the private pool. Of course, there's a walk-in closet, which is a futuristic look and plenty of backlit display cases and wardrobes to show off your expensive clothing collection. There's also a luxurious bathroom, which includes a majestic soaking tub that looks out over the city. So there you have it, a virtual tour of the most expensive mansion in America, the one. Do you think it's worth the price tag? Also, if it was your home, which other features would you like to add to it? Let me know down in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you don't mind, I need to call my realtor and ask a couple of questions about this place. I'm Lavish Wu and I'll see you next time.